Hey everybody, Substatica here. Welcome back to Survivor Man VR, The Descent. Before we get started, take a minute to click the S in the corner to subscribe. Heading for 50,000 subscribers, I'd love to have you on the team. Also like, share, leave a comment, let me know what you think of the video, of the game, or any tips for Survivor Man VR, The Descent. Let's jump back into it. We made our way down to the tundra, I think, so we're going to resume there. As I recall, we were watching a rabbit. Yep, there's some I wire. Very, very handy. I'm going to try to get the rabbit with this pole. Hey, welcome to the Arctic Tundra. Now I know what you see, barren land. I see opportunity. There's lots here yep. that'll help you survive. Pretty barren. Mosses and grasses, berries, even game you can catch. So get busy surviving this Arctic desert. All right. So now that I think of it, we probably have to make a snare with the wire rather than trying to spear the rabbit with our pole, but I'll have a peek around here anyways. All right, that's going to snap back to our pack. And let's check our priorities. Forage. Okay. I see some green down there, so let's head down there. Temperature is all right. Calories seem all right. At 48 hours with no food, you're becoming lethargic. You're low on energy. I had some granola bars. What do you mean no food? Okay. Can we eat some moss? Maybe put a snare between those two mossy mounds. But we'll head for the waypoint here. Or a deadfall trap. Got some big rocks. Oh, hey, 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 take a look at these. See that? It's a very faint trail, but you can spot it. Here's another one. And there's a third. Now notice how they all converge together. Now these are Arctic hair trails. And right in that spot, where they come together, perfect place to set up a snare. But first, you're going to have to find something to snare with. A snare is simply a loop that an I've got the wire. Through, catches on it, and the loop closes in on itself. You need to hang a wire loop right over this spot. Now, what are you going to hang it from? Now grab a few rocks and secure the pole. Then make a wall to funnel the prey into the snare. Rocks to secure the pole. When the prey runs, you Here can we go. funnel them right into your snare. Grab some rocks and make a wall to lead them in. Okay. Um... Okay, we'll just put them here then. Oh, we're still securing the pole. It's going to go up there. A couple more rocks. Ah, we're walling off that portion. One more rock, is that going to do it? No, we need one more it seems. Ah, there is one more, at least. A 
not seeing any more. Ah, over here. Shouldn't I be starting a fire, making camp? Collecting stones. Using a snare is a waiting game. It's actually the good okay. thing about it. It's passive hunting. You set them up and you walk away. Excellent work. You got yourself a piece oh, right I there. see you there. Ooh. But it's likely easier to digest the meat if it's cooked. Hey buddy. Um I guess let's put all this stuff back. I should just set it up again, right? All the way back there? Seems like that spot would be good for a fire too, under the rocks. Ooh, what's over here? Hmm, are these berries gonna kill us? Um, let's go to the waypoint first. Seemed like there were some berries and moss. Yeah, we gotta warm up. Let's take a look over there. What do you see? I don't think you see nothing. You have to pay attention to the landscape. Right now, oh, you're used to seeing only natural. There's a people. cabin up there. So what looks out of place in it? See the straight lines? I bet you that's some kind of painting. I bet you it's a structure. But how do you get to it from here? Good question. Um, let's go collect that stuff, but our temperature is getting low. How do we cross? Lichens. There's lots of vitamins in these. Bearberries. It's late in the season, but these are still good. Oh, there's more over here. And more lichen. Okay. Priorities. Cross river. I mean, I could cross on the ice. I think that's going to kill us. Doesn't seem like there's anywhere to cross down there. Maybe up by the uh, cliff. We got to get over there quick. Using our pole to uh, test the ice up there. Let's try that. I mean, I can jump. I don't think I can jump that, though. testing. Uh-oh. That's a tiny little path. Getting all this. Oh, we're freezing to death. We gotta make it to that cabin 
And how? Was I supposed to start a fire on that other side? Uh-oh. That's the death music. I guess I was supposed to warm up and eat the rabbit before coming over here. Oh, stamina's low. Maybe we can eat something. And some moss. Okay. Why is our stamina not going back up? I could see the waypoint. There's a beeping that I don't like. Our watch is flashing now. Are we going to get inside this cabin? Oh, there's the fire. Huh? Huh? Am I right? Oh, come on. What are you looking at? To me, this is a palace, my friend. This is an abandoned old hunting and fishing camp. You can see everything around here is rusted, broken down, but that means that it's a place of opportunity and gathering for you. Start looking now. There's all kinds of junk around this place, and every single piece of it is going to help you survive. <laughs> Hopefully we start at that checkpoint, full of health. All right. We start here. But to be honest, I died again. Let's put some wood in the fire pit. And because I died, I have some uh, 2020 vision now, which means I know that we've got to bash our camera to get the lens out. And we are going to use that lens to light our char, but I need some seed fluff, apparently. I haven't heard him say anything about seed fluff, but it is in our priorities. Place seed fluff in tin. And I noticed there was some plant life down here that I'm guessing is where we get our seed fluff. Seed fluff! Seed fluff. Okay, because it's on this side of the river. Not sure how much we need. Let's fill up the pack. Okay, we can always come get more. So now we have to use the camera lens to focus the sun to light our char that we have in our little Altoid tin. I couldn't figure out the uh, lens focusing mechanic previously, and that's why I expired. So let's get those out, put our pack back. Now, most of the time when you're working on a task, you need the shape to grow with the knife to loosen bolts and all that stuff. When you're focusing the sun, you need the shape to shrink. You want to get it to its smallest point. So we take the lens, we put it now this can be really hard by the do. cloth. You need to focus the sun to the smallest spot you can. Yeah, I know. He says it, but I forgot. Okay, so one way kind of makes it bigger. The other way makes it smaller. Until... You get the angle right. Somehow, my hands are kind of colliding. That's getting bigger, not smaller. Let's let's put it down somewhere, actually. Yeah, much easier. There we go. All right, you've got an ember in there now. Throw in at least three pieces of seed fluff. The more the better. And blow on it. How do I blow on it? Two... 
and three. That's a great flame. Now quickly light up the fire before you burn up all the tinder. Um, just drop it in there. All right, it's not as easy as it looks, is it? Oh, am I gonna die now? If you really want to get a fire going, you're gonna need a lot more tinder and kindling. The good thing about freezing to death is that you don't actually. You know, I could have kept trying to start that fire. After you died of hypothermia, and in fact, it's not really all that painful. Some people say it might be the best way to go, and it looks like you're getting good practice at it. Where's the menu? Okay, there it is. Nine times. All right, so didn't have enough sticks that time. One, two, three, three, four. Maybe one didn't stick. I don't think I have any with me, no. Let's get that rock out. Use one of the rocks lying around to smash the lens yeah, we'll the get to that, but... It's not much point if... Uh, If I'm gonna die. A grill. Perfect. This will make cooking so much easier. Yeah. Okay. What do we got? Flashlight. Our Altoids. Okay. So let's see if we can get more kindling down here. See, it says add seed fluff to fire pit, and uh, we didn't do that, but it's showing as done. Seed fluff. That's great for getting a fire going. Seed fluff in my pockets. So we need to put seed fluff. Ooh. A caribou scum. The herds migrate through here. That's a good thing, because people follow caribou. Is that caribou poop right by its skull? That's some long-lasting poop. Okay. We can take... one more bit of fluff. Can we get these sticks? No. So now the best we can do is try with fluff in the fire. Let's see if it snaps in. I think it did. Come on. Okay, that's a well-prepared fire. Now you've got your charred cloth. So how are we going to light it? Here's a little clue. It's the hottest part of the day. Peak solar radiation. You'll need a lens. Now where can you find a lens? There we go. Now again, now this can be really hard let's make the square you need to focus the, the smallest. smallest spot. All right, you've got an ember in there now. Throw in at least three pieces of seed fluff. The more the better. And the blow Whoa. on it. Get in there. That's a great flame. Now quickly light up the fire before you... Got it! We may have a fire and something to eat, but we need a grill to cook it. I think I saw one in the cabin. Okay. Let's put that there for now. All right. Now we are warming up. Oh, wait. Do I have to skin you or something? Oh, sweet. Don't want to let it burn, though. How do I know when it's done? Eat the hair. Let's do it. Oh, hey, buddy. Got some of that for me? Mm. Don't you just love a good mug of hot chocolate? Oh, sorry, that's just me. You don't have any. But you've done me proud just the same. You came down off the mountain, across the glacier, traversed the Arctic tundra, even got yourself across a treacherous river. And that's tough. 
And now you're sitting here with your belly full of Arctic hair. Well, way to go. But you know that canoe you found? We're going to leave that until tomorrow because right now you need something more important. You need sleep. Exhaustion. It'll kill you. So close your eyes and get some rest. There's only one seat. Oh, nice fire, by the way. Okay. So can I put this in my pack? Okay. Let's get some sleep. <sighs> well, good morning. There's caribou migrating through here, so there's got to be some dung. See if you can find some old, dry caribou dung, and I'll show you a trick. All right. We're going to keep our fire going with caribou dung. was some down here. Gross. Put the dung in the tin. Now put a little bit of charcoal in with that. I guess we probably don't need all this dung. from this If you close up the tin, a little bit of oxygen getting in there should keep the dung smoldering for hours. You can now carry your fire. What are we doing over here? I think we can make a paddle from your pole. Use the axe and chop up some of those planks. Um I did not see the axe. Oh, now it's back. Okay. Um, what am I doing here? Oh, use the axe to chop this piece of wood into a plank. Oh, wooden door. Was that wood? It didn't look like wood. Can I take this axe with me now? That'd be nice. We're gonna use some wire. Oh, that goes there. And then that. No. Okay. Put the pack on our back. And that goes up there. If you only had a pin or a bolt of some kind, then you could fasten the paddle blade to the pole more securely. There's got to be something like that around this cabin. In fact, I know there is. I'm sure you do. A pin or a bolt. Around this cabin. He didn't say in the cabin. There. Okay, now wire it all together. Handy wire. Yes, some wire. I... Good work. Now let's get down the river. I suggest you'll have a better shot at being rescued on the coast. This looks like it'll float, but whoever owns it didn't leave a paddle. You'll need one if you want to take this canoe down river. Here we go again. Can we draw? All right. Hmm. Stay right down the center when you're paddling a river like this. Easy does it. Ooh, a bit tricky. We're not gonna make it. 
That was close. Okay. I don't know how much I'm doing and how much is just on rails, but I'm going to do it anyway. Come on. There we go. Uh-oh, we got another downhill battle. We got some soundtrack to go with it. Try to stay out from under the water. I should be using that foam pad for my knees. Starting to hurt a bit. What is that? My stomach? Oh yeah, fish in the water. Wish you had some fishing gear. This is a lot less desolate than the way it was up on the top of that mountain. Lots of fish, lots of birds. That's a good sign. Now, where are we going to put a shore? Hmm, looks like another drop-off. Sounds like a big one. I don't think the canoe's gonna survive. I don't think we're gonna survive. Okay, we don't die when we hit a wall, so that's good. Wait. Do we have to pull ashore? Why is there a barrier? Okay, I thought that was like, you die if you cross that threshold. Huh, what is that in the sky? whole lot of birds. Come here birdie, birdie, birdie. Don't know where I'm going yet though. Huh. This looks cozy. Fantastic, but now you want to be rescued, don't you? So it's all about being seen. There may be someone who spots you from the air or from the water, maybe even a lone hunter coming over a hill. I'm thinking big signal fire. Yeah, there's all kinds of driftwood lying around here. So get busy. Well, I think we'll get busy next time now that we've made it to another location. This is Survivor Man VR, The Descent. If you haven't already, take a minute to click the S in the corner to subscribe. Heading for 50,000 subscribers, I'd love to have you on the team. Also, like, share, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the video or the game or any tips or tricks you have for Survivor Man VR. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.